And welcome back to Sunday Square Off. President Trump right now daring House Democrats to impeach him and refusing to cooperate with them. He figures the majority Republican U.S. Senate would never convict him. One of those senators, Democrat Kirsten Sinema, she's playing this very carefully, saying, look, I might be a judge on this, and so I need to be restrained in my comments. What's going through her mind right now, Julie Earfley, as she considers whether to vote for or against impeachment, of a, or, or conviction, I should say, impeachment is the charge in the House. Conviction is what the Senate would do. What's going through her mind right now? I think she's waiting to see how this plays out. I mean, it, it does seem that as more and more information comes out, voters are with the Democrats. Voters are saying it's time to impeach. And I think when, when that gets to a certain threshold, she'll be more vocal. But the reality is, is right now, again, just like Mark Kelly, she really doesn't have anything to gain by being overly vocal right now. She is in that seat for a long time to come. And, and so right now, she really just needs to sit back and wait and see what Trump's next move is. He's digging himself a grave right now, and, and she's letting him do it. I think she's secretly praying, praying, please don't do it. Please don't do it. I don't think she don't, wants to take a stand. Don't, don't, don't impeach. impeach him. Uh, the House Democrats, don't do it. Don't get to that 218. I don't think she wants the to make that decision. I don't think she wants to put herself on the record. We know that she's not a fan of being on the record about issues and things. I am pretty sure she does not want to have to make that vote. She does have... What? Five years now until she's on the ballot again. That is true. 20, 2024. Uh, okay, let's go down the ballot. And you were making the case uh, LD6, Sylvia Allen's uh, Central Arizona District could be in play. Do you see this trickling farther down the ballot to other statewide, countywide races? I think it could in competitive districts. I mean, if you're talking about a safe district, I don't think it really matters. But in a district like LD6, I think it could matter, particularly if you can pin that Republican candidate to some of the same antics as the Trump administration. Um, so I think it matters there. It may also matter in CD6 with David Schweikert. Um, that is a race that I think is becoming more competitive, despite what people think. Um, so, I, so I think that there is a possibility in other races beyond the U.S. Senate race. Yeah, I don't think this is going to play at all in the low in down ballot races. I, I don't think the, you know, people are going to vote for the legislature or again, or uh, their candidate based on what Donald Trump does or says, uh, or, you know, Republicans in DC, you know, especially in rural Arizona, you know, they do, you know, really look at the issues and where the state is, you know, the state's doing well. Our economy is doing very well. That is going to be much more important uh, than what Donald Trump does or says. Okay. Well, the Trump Pence team said last week, they're going to be in Arizona a lot in the new year's so that should be very interesting i'm gonna helpful for democrats helpful for democrats <laughs> and pence and, and mcsally by the way are tied up in a fundraising arrangement right now so you might be seeing a lot of mike pence got to end it there barrett marson julie earfley thanks so much for joining us